How exactly will the Nintendo Switch 2 or whatever the next Nintendo console look or perform or like what's going on with the Joy-Cons? I got a little bit of information, some leaks, and as always guys, these are leaks, so these could be wrong, but they could also be true, or like half of this could come true and half of it could be false, you know, random stuff being thrown out there. But straight up, I'll just start off with the Joy-Cons. So apparently the original Joy-Cons from the Switch 1 and the Pro Controllers are still gonna actually work on the Switch 2, which is great. I mean, I figure that would be true anyways, and even if this isn't a true leak, I feel like this... This has to be the case because so many people buy a bunch of Joy-Cons. Like people collect the Joy-Cons, the Pro Controllers, and imagine, you know, having a whole collection of Joy-Cons when the Switch 2 can't even use them. I'm assuming they will be able to use them even if you can't dock it on the actual controller itself. Like even if you can't dock the Joy-Cons on the Switch 2, I'm assuming you could use them Bluetooth or wirelessly somehow. So this next one is huge. The Switch 2 is apparently going to be backwards compatible with the Switch 1 games, which is amazing. Once again, I also thought that this would actually be the case anyways, because I can't imagine not giving us backwards compatibility. I know the Switch isn't backwards compatible with any previous console, but the Switch is kind of like its own thing. So if they're going to release another console that's similar to the Switch, why not give us backwards compatibility? It just makes sense. The 3DS was backwards compatible with the DS. The DS and the DS Lite were backwards compatible with GBA. So I believe that the Switch 2, no matter what, even if these leaks right here are false, I think it's going to be backwards compatible. They probably will have like a new design or a color, just similarly to how the 3DS had like the little rivet on the end and they were white chips rather than the black regular DS chips. So I think so far this is great. These two pieces of information right here are exactly what I want to hear from the Nintendo Switch 2. I want the Joy-Cons to work. I personally don't really have many Joy-Cons. I actually literally just have the ones that my Switch came with, but I have a couple of controllers like that you can plug in or wireless Bluetooth ones. And uh, yeah, I, I would like to use those on the Switch too. And apparently the new Joy-Cons are going to be magnetically attached with some type of electromagnet to secure them. That's got to be a really strong magnet. I feel like this might be a little iffy. I can't imagine them being completely held on to the console by a magnet because you know it's a portable console so if you're on public or you know in the car i feel like that could be a recipe for a bad disaster is that the is that the term right there recipe for a bad disaster i don't know um but but imagine like if it really is connected by a magnet i feel like a lot of people are going to lose their joy cons and i i don't know i kind of feel like this is fake i really don't think that we're going to have a complete magnet even if it is an electromagnet like a strong magnet no matter what it could come off really easily and i do feel like the the, the track that we have like the slide track to put the joy cons on the switch one currently is a little bit dated and i feel like they're going to just have something similar to that but it's going to be a little better maybe like a little clasp that connects in also with a magnet so it's going to be a magnet and as well like an, as a little clip like automatically connects into the the joy cons themselves i i can't imagine it being fully just magnetic apparently we're also getting two new buttons on the joy cons um one below the home button and then one on the back i don't really know exactly what those would give us just sl and sr buttons you know whatever i don't really care about that i don't really think that's necessary honestly i think we have enough buttons on the switch joy cons controllers you know they have the exact same amount of buttons as like a you know a ps4 or ps5 whatever i think it's fine if we don't get any more joy con buttons Apparently the dock is getting some upgrades too, still uses USB-C, which I can't believe the original dock and the original Switch uses uh, USB-C. Yeah, that was pretty ahead of its time. 2017 or 2018, whatever it was, with USB-C, that was, that was pretty ahead of its time. Apparently it'll have 4K support, and the kickstand has a dampening bracket for improved adjustments. That's great. And the screen is going to be 8 inches, 1080p, so that's pretty, pretty good right there. I'm liking that. And there's some talk about like Samsung providing the OLED screens and that the Switch 2 may actually launch with LCD, just how the Switch 1 did, and then later on get the OLED screens. I feel like that's going to happen. I don't really care too much about an OLED screen, I'm going to be honest. I I really don't care. As long as the games look good, I mean, I would like the OLED screen. I obviously would prefer it over the LCD screen, but I'm not going to care if they don't give it to us like on launch. These are some Switch leaks via Vandal, which I don't know what that is exactly. I'm assuming this is some website. Uh, apparently, it's going to be released early 2025, which I don't know about that. Usually, Nintendo consoles are released near Christmas time, obviously, to get them Christmas sales in. I don't know about that, but 
maybe, who knows. It's gonna be bigger than the current Switch models, but not as big as the Steam Deck, which I don't exactly know what that means, because I don't know if that means the Joy-Cons are gonna be bigger for the Switch too. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's just the console size itself is staying the same, but the screen size itself is growing. That's probably what they're talking about. This one, once again, says attached magnetically to the screen with the Joy-Cons. I don't know about that. But then this one says unknown if OG Joy-Con will be compatible. Whew, interesting. Who knows? It makes sense that the Pro Controllers would be, though. I definitely think those will 100% be. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. What do you think is going to happen with the Switch 2? Like, what do you think the Joy-Con issue is going to be? Like, how do you think the Joy-Cons are going to be attached to the console? I just can't imagine it being fully magnetic. That seems kind of ridiculous. I hope it's not fully magnetic, to be honest. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.